Hi there, in this video we will focus on the ingredients of a mathematical model because in our last video we have understood the difference between a mathematical model and an econometric model which is very minor but very significant at the same time. So if we are able to understand the ingredients of a mathematical model it will not be difficult to understand the symbols in an econometric model. So we have variables in a mathematical model and they can be simple variables of mathematical nature or economic variables of economic nature. Uh, we, we should know about other things that are the building blocks of a mathematical model in addition to variables. We have constants, we have uh, coefficients, we have parameters. These are the building blocks that uh, develop an algebraic equation or trigonometric equation and other branches of mathematics are also dependent upon them because they are the building blocks in the mathematical analysis. For instance, if we look at this uh, equation of law of demand, we have variables in it, we have coefficients and we have constants. These are the variables Q, D and P, beta and alpha they are playing their role as a constant and as a coefficient and they are parameters at the same time because their values are limited with a certain restriction. As we go ahead we will delve deeper into it and we will see that how their um, ranges are determined by making them a parameter. Uh, the solution of time path of in dynamic analysis using the trigonometric ratios this is something uh, which is beyond the scope of this course but briefly putting it is explaining that how the prices will change over time and this is the solution after all the calculations so you see that we can monitor the changes of the prices over time by using this equation Again, uh, a mathematical model is helping us to understand an economic situation in a very concise and precise way. As we know that etymology of variable is simply the ability to change, variable. And it is a phenomenon that changes usually over time. That is, as the time passes, the variable changes its value. But due to other factors, due to other exogenous factors, a variable can change which is not uh, the case where it is changing due to time but it can change over time but it is changing due to some exogenous variable. We will also see what is an exogenous variable but for the time being we can say that it's an external variable affecting from outside our analysis. Life is full of specific variables as we can see age, knowledge, fate and temperature. These are all variables. These are mathematical variables that are expressed with the help of X, Y, Z. It can be the smaller capital letters. And if we look at the economic variables, they can be um, of microeconomic or macroeconomic nature, demand, supply, price, individual income, consumption, investment, savings, revenue, costs, profit, wage, domestic, gross domestic product, government expenditure, taxes, supply of money, demand for money, interest rate, inflation, exports and imports and others. These are all economic variables. Some are microeconomic in nature, some are macroeconomic in nature and their symbols are also mentioned beside them. You see variables can be economic in nature and this is our main concern. Now how we can freeze a variable? It is simply when we fix a certain value of a variable then we say that it is the process of allotting a certain value to a variable. Uh, microeconomic examples are there excess supply in real market if this is quantity demanded and if it is quantity supplied and if this is price then we can see that we have excess supply which is the difference of the two that is how supply how much of the supply is greater than the uh, demand that is the quantity demanded to be more specific and 350 minus 250 would be equal to a certain value which is here that is 100 units and now we have uh, the excess supply its numerical value which can be considered as a frozen value or the freezing of a variable and then we have this um, uh, example of profit of a firm revenue 
cost they are given i can find the value of profit simply by using this formula that i have studied in microeconomics so i take the difference of the two and i get the profit which is equal to this value so this value is now an example of how a value is uh, uh, how we freeze a variable when it comes to an economic situation another example would be macroeconomic in nature where the consumption is there in millions and then investment and then government expenditure and the exports and the imports and they are there and we have to calculate the national income in four sector economy that is the sum of all the expenditures consumption investment government expenditure and the uh, net effect of the exports and imports when we put the values we get the final answer and this is the gross domestic product in in, in millions so this is how we freeze a value and we have uh, these freezed values and now we uh, are going to summarize the solution values in all of these three examples the solutions were found in the first one excess supply was the solution value in the second one we found profit which was the solution value and then we had the solution value of the gdp gross domestic product and it was this much now we can graphically observe the solution values as well when the demand supply are equal we will get the solution value here we can see as we have studied in literary economics that there is equilibrium output and equilibrium price and we get them graphically we can also get them with the help of simple algebra so this is how the variables are plotted in their uh, values that are freezed uh, they are also represented now there is another dimension of uh, variables and we should also know this and it is the dimension of endogenous and exogenous variables just talked about the exogenous variables a little while earlier uh, now we'll delve deeper into this endogenous variables they are basically uh, those variables that are internal in nature because endo means internal and genus means generating so these are internally generated or can be calculated using the a model that we are given or the information that we are given so internally generated variables they are the endogenous variables when we look at the market equilibrium it has a system and in that system there is demand equation there is supply equation and when we solve these two equations we get the equilibrium price and equilibrium output once we have these things we have um, a um, set of endogenous variables that is equilibrium price and equilibrium output now we should talk about the uh, exogenous variables they are the other part of the types of variables exo means external and genus means uh, generating so these are the variables that are externally generated so these are the variables that are outside the model we cannot calculate them and they have a knack to influence the endogenous variables but they are not affected or influenced by the endogenous variables and what they do is that they tend to shift the curves of the endogenous variables because they have the ability to affect the endogenous variables here you can see that uh, the demand function was there this is an endogenous variable so its function gets shifted when an ex uh, and exogenous variable that is income changes favorably that is if the income increases it is going to shift the demand from d1 to d2 and if the exogenous variable that is income if it changes unfavorably it is going to shift the endogenous variable demand to a lower level that is from d1 to d0 so you see the exogenous variable that is income in this case has the ability to affect the graph of the endogenous variables now let us take some further examples of exogenous variables at macroeconomic uh, level for example we have political will and the other policy variables like supply of money that can be changed and if we do this the equilibrium in the macro economy will be affected the tax rates that are also a policy variable changed by the government and the government expenditure which definitely is one of the spendings of the government 
so when we change these uh, outside the model they have the ability to affect the outcomes of the endogenous variables an example of which we just saw so this was about the variables which is one of the blocks of the uh, mathematical economics that we need to understand and it is a very useful thing because it directly measures the economic phenomenon and this was about the first of the building blocks of uh, a mathematical model and we will uh, understand the constants and parameters in the coming video i hope you have found it useful you may like it give it a thumbs up and you may subscribe the channel if you have it